Hi, I'm here with Shannon Madden, WordPress BFF from WP bff.com and Shannon helps entrepreneurs build their WordPress websites through her five-day WordPress challenge and through her BFF Academy. Hi Shannon. Hey, thank you so much for having me. So excited to talk through um, your done for you package, uh, which is what we worked on off and on over the last year through uh, the systems for business growth program that I have. Um, and it was really about completely going through that program, which you do to help other people build their websites for them. So tell me a bit about that program and sort of where it was before we started working together. Well, yeah, so I teach people how to build websites themselves, but then I also offer a service where I will do it for them. And so before I met you, <laughs> that service was kind of a disaster. Um, you know, because I have my step-by-step -step tried and true method that is very systematized because I teach it to other people. Um, so it, it's all figured out, but when taking that system that I was like teaching to other people and trying to apply it to actually working with real clients, when there's a whole host of other variables that go into building a website when you're working with a client, it really just completely fell apart. And so I um, kind of pushed it aside again. You know, I had, I had tried it, it didn't work. I'm like, I'll just teach you how to do it. And then people started coming to me saying, I really, after seeing what's involved, I really don't wanna do it. I want you to do it for me. So then I, you know, picked that back up, but it just, it wasn't working the same way as if I were building my own site and I really couldn't figure out why it was so difficult. <laughs> um, and so I just didn't want to even uh, go that route. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to like pretty much jettison that whole part of my business until um, meeting you and working with you to really kind of figure out how to adapt what I had already created to a whole different set of, of variables, I guess, you know, working with another human being on a project and not just me doing it myself and making all the decisions on my own and being in charge of everything when anything happens. And, you know, so, so that is, that's kind of where it was before. It was just really in, in shambles and not via, not a viable product, not a viable place for me to spend my time. I was losing money yeah. on it. So you knew it was something that people were asking you for. Like you said, they would do your five day website challenge, which is fantastic. I've done it myself. Um, and they'd go, Oh, now I know how much is involved. I want to outsource this, which again is a really good thing to be able to know and recognize in your own business. Um, so you knew there were people asking for it. You knew there was money on the table, but you just, you know, were not able to make it work um, for yourself. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that it was so much of a, like, I just don't really want to do it and want to cut it out. So I'm super, that makes me yeah. even more excited that we found each other. <laughs> yes. So one of the benefits of how I structured the Systems for Business Growth program is that we get on a call every sort of two weeks and you get to talk at me about your business and kind of tell me how you do it, what's going wrong, and just kind of vent at me. And then I do all the systems work. I draw all the pictures, I untangle it, give you lots of recommendations. Um, so can you talk a bit about um, what it was like working with me from the other side? How, how was that? And I know we also did tweak um, how we did those sessions a little bit to fit with you and your schedule too. Yeah. So what I really liked about that is because I, I, I loved that I could really just tell the story of my business. I didn't have to try to fit it into how you build systems or do project management, or you didn't try to teach me project management ideology, or, you know, you didn't try to educate me. You're just like, okay, tell me you know, how you would like to, this to, you know, what's happening now, mm -hmm. what you want to happen, you know, what resources are you using? And, you know, if, if this worked the way you wanted it to, what would it look like? You know, and, and I just got to kind of share that with you. And then what you would come back to me with was, 
ta-da, here's how you can actually make this all work with the tools that you're already using, with the resources that you already have in place. And it was just like, I didn't have the, the skill set and the tools and the experience in my own mind to even be able to sit down to figure that out myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So um, I just, it was such a great experience to be able to tell you what I do and have you translate that into a system. Yeah, because I think often if people, they they do think they have some of the skill set and they do want to try DIY it themselves, when you get to that really crux point where it's not working and you've still got all of these clients and projects going on, you're so in the detail of what you do and how you're just trying to make it work now, it's extra hard to take that step back, to find the time to take that step back and to really pull your head out of it enough, whereas... I guess when I come in and I don't know, um, I know a lot about the online business world, but not specifically how people and their businesses operate. I'm just like, yeah, I ask you a bunch of questions (laughs) and yeah, you get to tell me your story. So yeah. And then hopefully I work my magic and you go, how do you know? And I say, it's because you told me, um, I'm just yeah able to be a fresh mind and a fresh perspective on that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So what are some of the standout changes to the Done For You service that you've made um, from us working together? Oh, the biggest piece, because I know how to build a website. You didn't tell me how to build a website. (laughs) (laughs) You know, you you did help me make it more efficient. But the biggest piece is all of all of the steps that need to happen to get the content from the client. Mm -hmm. and the kind of it's like it's almost like a choose your own adventure book that you wrote for me um (laughs) if you remember those you know (laughs) right so you it was like okay so here's the things you need if this happens then this then turn to page 30 or whatever you know if this is what the outcome is then you'll do this and at some point it just meets back in the middle and you get to move forward but so that whole piece is the biggest change to the process to Mm -hmm. where I know for every single project exactly where we are and what we need to move forward. And if, if I don't have what I need to move forward, it's not just, we sit there forever and we wait for it. Mm -hmm. There's like another option to, okay, if, if this didn't happen, then here's where we go. And at some point, you know, now you're, in violation of your contract. You're not in violation, but you know, I could now I can lean on the contract to push back on you to say, you know, here are the terms. So so those processes really align with the contracts that I have with my clients also, so that it's just really, really clear, you know, what the deliverables are and when things will happen. And there's no gray area whatsoever about how the process is going to work. And I think that's, that piece was the big game changer as far as me being able to actually develop websites for clients. You can't build something until they give you what you (laughs) give you everything um, that you need to build it. And, and it helps them too, because if I'm not clear on what I need from them Mm -hmm. and I'm not giving them deadlines and I don't have a process, it's a very frustrating experience for my client also. So it's not just for me. It doesn't just add value to me. It adds value to them too, because it's saving them time. And they don't even know that they got that from you. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, absolutely. I think when it comes to systems, it's there's two sides of the coin. And one is that it makes it a lot easier for you to manage, simplifies things for you, allows you to scale your business. But the other side is the customer experience. And you get a whole lot clearer about how you work and what they can expect from the process of working with you. And you can really lay that out. And you can get super proactive in putting that in your welcome packets and putting that on your sales pages and all sorts of stuff um, when you have that defined. So can you just give us a bit of an example? So, okay, I think most of us watching have probably built a website. We're entrepreneurs, we're mompreneurs. Um, What are some of those variations, I guess, that you're talking about there that we had to map out? Oh, well, so everybody starts from a different place. You know, all of my clients come to me, um, whether they might come to me not having ever had a website before and we're starting from scratch. 
they might come to me with a Squarespace site that they have discovered they've outgrown and they need to transition to WordPress. Um, so it's kind of that starting point of where they're starting and maybe they want to change their domain name in the process. So there are all these different starting points that require a different path. Mm -hmm. And um, that's kind of one of those things that um, we were able to also systematize all those pieces. You would think that those are like really custom cases because of the questions that you asked me. So, cause I would say, Oh, but if they started here, then I would do it differently. And you know, you were really able to kind of break out like, okay, here's the starting point. Here's the set of steps that you need to do first. And really at the end of the day, I have a, a A and a Z for every single project, no matter how people come to me. Um, and I think that that's, that's really important. I don't have to reinvent the wheel every single time. Yeah. Yeah. I think again, because people, uh, when you get really into your business and I do, I do the same thing as well. Like often I'm like, okay, I need to clone myself so I can look at my own business. Um, because you do get involved and every customer can be different. Um, but it's being able to abstract out that process so you can see, okay, these are the things that I do that are the same because there's always some, and then these are the bits that vary. Um, because when you're in it and you're trying to provide a really great customer experience and a really great personalized service to your customers, you can get into thinking that the whole thing is different. Um, and that's just really not the case. But again, it's hard to see what's similar um, without taking that step back. That is a really great way to say that because I am able to provide a really custom experience for them, but it's not custom on my side, meaning uh -huh. it doesn't take me more time to provide them with an experience that feels customized to them. That's, uh, I love how you said that. That's, <laughs> that's, that is so perfect. And that's one of the things I really like to get across to people with systems is that you, they're not mutually exclusive. You can still provide an amazing customer experience and even more so in a more personalized experience when you're organized in the back end. Yeah. I know one of the things that we really worked on with the Done For You service was extracting you from the process. Yeah. So can you talk a bit about what we did there and what, who else you've got involved in that process now? Yeah, so before, <laughs> the, before <laughs> Adventures in Productivity, before KarenHewson.com, um, I did everything myself from, from writing the contract, sending it out, figuring out if someone didn't return it, um, getting payment together, collecting all the content. Like I did all of these pieces and parts, which really when you're, when you think about it, they take, that takes like two to three hours just to do the admin side of, um, of onboarding a client. Mm -hmm. And so throughout the process, you pointed out all the places where I could only do certain things versus where I could outsource. So I had to do the client consultations because, you know, that's me, you know, I'm the one doing the done for you, but I don't have to be the one that, that sends the proposal and sends the contract and sends the deposit and follows up to make sure everything that I get everything. The only time I have to step back in is when it's time to kick off the project. Um, so that's, you know, three to four to five hours of back and forth with the client that are now done by my virtual assistant with checklists that we made through the um, project. We also did a little bit of automation in my Infusionsoft system to um, kind of help me like, oh, I finished up this call, add this tag, it's going to send out a follow-up email. So we did like a blend of uh, automation with systems that I ha already had in place and outsourcing things to the virtual assistant that I already had in place that I wasn't fully utilizing, but I was paying for <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> that I am paying for that I was not fully utilizing. Um, so we really identified and even to the development of the site, we were able to identify I actually don't really need to even build the sites. I just need to like sell the sites and check in and do the client management and some creative direction and maybe some training videos and project wrap up, which was a huge realization for me 
and one that I am leveraging <laughs> right now. <laughs> Excellent. I yeah. really love that because often, um, often I can go in and, and we can see where you don't need to be involved, but it's a big transition for people, especially when we are our businesses at the beginning. Um, it's great to see how we can extract ourselves out of the process, but it's a whole nother thing to go through the actual steps of handing things over to someone else. And there's, there's lots of different ways and all sorts of different timelines you can do that for. Um, but yeah, I just find that amazing that now you're like, oh, wait, I'm, you know, your core role is in the creative direction and in the, the customer management. Um, and there's so much that it gives you a lot of flexibility, I think. I'm going to totally mix up the questions on you now. And, That's okay. and just, <laughs> just ask, since we're talking about that, um, you know, what does that mean now for the growth and scalability? Because you mentioned just before, I mean, this was a service you were ready to like throw away. Yeah, so, well, it's, it's turned into a few different things. So I was able to take all of the systems and processes that we built because they were so systematized and step by step and turn that into um, a course to teach other web designers who are struggling with the same exact thing in their business, uh, processes, getting clients, um, managing clients and, and all of that stuff. I was able to use this, this work that we did to teach them how to run their own web design business, which had I given up on this, that's tens of thousands of dollars in revenue I would have been walking away from because that, you know, getting this process dialed in and then so much so that I could actually like pick it up and take it and teach mm -hmm. it to, to other people. That was huge. And then out of that program, I was able to uh, have an intern. Someone really stood out in the first time I offered it. And now she is helping me with the site builds that I'm doing now with the Dunfree project. Then I also have been able to kind of outsource to a couple of other project-based VAs to, to really just go down the checklists and build out some things that really don't require a lot of decision-making. Mm -hmm. so I've been able to take on more of the projects. Um, and then when, you know, the workload is, is so much for the people that I have, I have hired, I'm able to really pick up, you know, where they've left off in a very organized fashion. It's not like you get it, you, you step in and you're like, I, this is a mess. I have no idea where we're even at in this project. It's just like, it's all right there. I know exactly where we're at in this project and I can move it forward. So you know, the work that we did had such a wider impact on my business that I did not anticipate at all. Yeah. I just thought you were going to get me out of a hole that I was in. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome. And I have to say, I think, I think that's the stuff that I get super excited about because yeah, I can, I can do the work and give you the processes. Um, but it's how you can implement and run with them and the time it frees up for you to do other things and other really cool things for your business and for your lifestyle and everything. So, um, yeah, I, I absolutely love how that's been able to open up all these new doors for you. Um, and Me too. other people as well. Other people are seeing the pretty process maps that I've drawn up yeah. for and, and getting benefit from them. So, Oh yeah. I mean, that's, that's a big selling point for, for the, the course that I do to say, you know, you'll have a step-by-step -step process map to really guide you through, you know, what needs to happen first. Like nothing happens until payment and contractor. And I don't, you know, that's like a stopping point. Um, on those process maps. And I think a lot of people get themselves into a jam because they just start the work. And, you know, so, I mean, it's, it's little things like that, that people, that web designers don't realize mm -hmm. um, about how to actually run the business. Their skill set is coding and design, not client management and systems and processes. Yeah, absolutely. So tell me a little bit about how the systems have worked in practice, because I think a lot of us feel like systems in theory, they are a good thing. Yes, I want them. But in practice, how are they going to work for my business? Am I going to be able to work them? And I mean, something I always do say is that, um, yeah, systems won't work unless you work the systems. So talk to us about in practice, once we'd talked through and I'd, you know, drawn up the pretty maps that in theory look really good. How did that work? 
So in practice, when I have followed them, and I'll tell you why I haven't followed them in a minute, but when I follow them, they work really well. And because I'm kind of thinking that way now, I'm always aware of deviations and adding that in for the next client, you Mm -hmm. know, because like there's always every client's unique. But when I have something that I that I come across that I do for them, I create that piece and I add it to my checklist and then you know it's there for the next time we encounter that so so we have the steps and the work and everything is right there so we're not reinventing the wheel every time and thinking how did we do that last time that is a really important thing to to point out as well because um, I think, you know, we worked on and off over almost 12 months. So mm-hmm. when we first started working at the beginning of the process, um, you know, six months later, that process can look um, a little bit different. You've worked with more clients. They might have asked you to do different things. So that ability for you to maintain the processes and really just add them in and elaborate as you're working with clients, you're not having to take extra time outside of projects. You're just like, oh, this is what I added in and did differently to this checklist. Let's pop it in now and maintain them so they're always going to be something that you can yeah I've really sort of handed that over like you don't need me to maintain those for you now exactly exactly I have I have I understand how to kind of fit those pieces in and then I have a couple times deviated from our project plan because a client asked me to Mm -hmm. um, for like a specific business reason of theirs. Like maybe they had something coming in up fast that they needed, you know, they just needed to deviate. And so I had prior relationships with the clients, you know, they, maybe they came to me through a referral or, or something like that. And so I deviated from the plan and I can tell you, like, I'm still working on those projects. Oh like they God. are like never, they're the never ending project because we didn't follow the plan. And so it's like, it's almost like building a building. You can't start with the roof because you mm-hmm. can't like, but if you try, it's just gonna, you're just working backwards and treading water and trying to like shore up the foundation. So, um, yeah, trying to deviate from that plan was, is was really painful and time consuming and expensive yeah. you know so the systems and processes are in place for a reason um they really do work because we put a lot of thoughtful and intentful work into those for for how for what really does it's not just like we decided oh when do you want that to happen like it really made it was like a logical flow of you know, how a website's developed, how, you know, everything to pull that together. So I just, I can, I, seeing this now, I see why they didn't work before I had the system in place. Right. It's like, yeah, I'm like, it was a hot mess before the system was in place. Smooth sailing, the ones that I use the system on. If I've deviated from it, it's like back to a mess. So (laughs) I'm just, I'm really grateful that I can, um, that I have something to work from, you know, and I've actually, um, taken that model and kind of applied it to finishing up these projects Mm -hmm. and like drawn some lines in the sand and, um, and tried to, you know, and to get them back on track. Yeah. Yeah. So let's get back on track. We skipped a couple steps. So let's go back and do those and make sure we can. Exactly. Yep. So I was able to kind of look back at, okay, here's what we were supposed to have done. Here's where we're at. Here's where I can kind of reapply this and, and, you know, move it forward. So, yeah. (laughs) I'm really, I'm really pleased that you're, you've shared that with us as well, because, um, Making the changes that, you know, I can come in and say, hey, change and can operate almost completely differently. Um, Mm -hmm. But, and it's hard to do, especially when you get busy. I think it's often really easy to fall, irrespective of whether clients have asked you to, just to fall back on old patterns because you've dealt with things in such a reactive way previously. So really keeping yourself in that proactive mindset and Um, following a a system and believing and knowing that that system is custom built for what you do and for your clients as well. Um, 
yeah, I think everyone, I mean, I sort of expect people to like deviate a little bit or to fall back and have a couple of those trips um, because it is something that you need, need to practice. But I love that having gone through that process with me, you're able to see, um, you know, what you've skipped over and why it's got to the place it is. Um, because I guess we all know that, you know, that awareness is really the first step in being able to fix something. And it just reinforces um, why you do follow the process as well. So yeah, I think <laughs> hopefully lesson learned, right? And <laughs> Right. And I think you said it really well, you know, it's it's pr being proactive rather than reactive and that that is really you know that makes you just so much more professional in in everything that you're doing when you're booking you know when you're working with clients when you know you, it's like you have the crystal ball and you know how the whole thing is going to go and you know that makes them feel much more confident and comfortable that they're going to get a good end product when you don't have a system and you're just kind of, you're, they're like, well, when is this going to be done? You're like, well, I don't know. I need to look and see, mm -hmm. okay, well, I still need this, this, and this from you. So really the ball's in your court. And, you know, so it, it just clears up so many communication issues. Yes. Um, it's just very it's a very good thing to have been used <laughs> <laughs> and it'd be proactive. Yeah. Yeah. I think customer communication is one that it feels really hard to find a solution for, but when you have the system in place, you suddenly realize like what you're communicating and even, um, yeah, I mean, I won't go into too much detail, but even how you communicate with clients and the way they can get in touch with you and all of that as well, there's definitely, um, ways that you can make that work for you and your clients. Oh. And you built that into our systems, which is awesome too, because I don't yeah. have clients doing anything but filling out my consultation form and booking on my schedule, mm -hmm. you know, and, and so I'm not going back and forth with people trying to find a time to email. Like we've, we've, we've started it right from the very beginning, <laughs> which is great. Yeah. Set that expectation. They know this is how you operate and that's what they expect going into the whole, the whole program. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Well, the last thing I just want to ask about is the workflow board that we developed. So this is kind of touching on that project management aspect, because by being able to obviously outsource a lot of the process, you still need to keep a handle on what's happening and even more so need to know who is working on what project when, like where are these all, where are these balls with? <laughs> Who's responsible for the next piece of the puzzle? So tell us a bit about, um, yeah, the workflow board. Yeah, so the process that you and I worked on, the done for you package process, um, was for one project, right? So I had this like process all outlined for everything. So I knew what's happening with one project. Well, when I started having multiple projects going on or multiple, you know, things going on, I really did not have a good handle on where each project was at on our workflow. Um, so I remember we had talked and I, um, you had asked me how things are going and I told you, I probably said something like, I feel really disorganized. And I'm not <laughs> sure where everything is at on each project. And so you, um, like I think within a day or two had shared with me a Kanban board is that, or is that a workflow board? Yeah, I mean, Kanban is the, the concept. Like, if you want to Google it and look up about workflow boards and the concept, then Kanban, K-A-N-B-A-N, it originates from Japanese um, car manufacturing. Um, so, yeah, Kanban board is the, the sort of official name, but it really just is, it's representing your workflow in a, in a visual way with columns. So, yeah, so I use Asana for my project management, and I think you just popped in there and, and built me a little workflow board in Asana with like all the major stopping points um, on my flow. So it, it was like, if something can't move forward at this point because something needs to be done, and it was like, it's just, it's so cool. It's like move the project from here to here when you get this piece and move it from here to here when you get this piece. And so it's like a board and it has a visual representation of all the steps and all the milestones along the way. And then each client is just on there wherever they are in, in the workflow. So I know who's at 
um, second revisions and who I just gave a contract to and who I'm still waiting on content for. And I can just like pop that open and see the whole workflow and everything that I've got going on, which really does kind of allow me to, I don't want to say take on more clients, but like I am not going to like turn someone away because this person has stopped on the flow. Um, you know, so I can take somebody on if they're, you know, going to start. It's just really a good way to figure out volume yeah. um, and where everything's at in the process. And so it's allowed me to actually optimize uh, my resources and manage my team better and, you know, take on more projects, make more money, quit my day job at the end of the year, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. So Absolutely. yeah, that piece that piece was a really, um, I think key piece to tying it all together. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And I mean, that was something, um, like you said, that it came up because you said that, you know, we've gone through this process. It works really well for one, but I've got this problem again. I've fallen into that disorganized, overwhelmed <laughs> place. So yeah, that was, that was something that I was really excited to, to pull out that was just, I don't want to say it was quite like maybe waving a magic wand, but it was like over a day or two. I was like, here, what do you think about this? And I, I luckily like clicked on to, um, you know, the way that you think and the way you work from talking with you and working with you for so long. So um, that I love, I wish I could do that for everybody. That's something that I think, you know, that bird's eye view where you can actually see where things are at and make sure nothing's dropping through the cracks. I think that's something that, that absolutely everybody should have. Well, I think one thing I appreciate about working with you is that you do really like know the nuts and bolts of my business, you know, like you've learned everything. So, um, it's like you completely understand everything that I do and you can offer solutions to, I think you fix problems. I didn't even know I had, I just thought it was like normal to do something like that. And you're like, <laughs> you know, you could save a lot of time here. Or if you just tweak this, that would fix that down the road. And it's just like, if you didn't fully understand my business, I don't think that though that you would be able to offer, um, that extra guidance, you yeah. know? So it's just, it's more than systems and productivity, I guess. Is what <laughs> I'm trying to say. Thank you. That's awesome. Oh my goodness. So excited. I hope that everyone has got a ton of information out of that, not just um, how it is to work with me through the Systems for Business Growth program or for any of the other shorter term stuff that I have um, going on, but just what systems can start to do for your business and the doors it can open up. And yeah, you can get rid of that disorganized feeling, that overwhelmed feeling and um, start to, yeah, Give yourself time and headspace to um, do more things with your business and grow it in the way that you want. So Shannon, just tell us quickly, where can we find you online? Sure, you can find me on my website at www.wp-bff.com. And that's pretty much the best place to find me. All my social medias are linked up um, across the top. And if you want to learn more about how to build your own WordPress website, you can sign up for my free five day website challenge right there on the homepage. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing everything today. And thank if, you for having me. You're welcome. If you'd like to learn more about working with me and um, the Systems for Business Growth program, then please just go to karenhewson.com. Um, there's a link to the work with me page, or you can go straight there, karenhewson.com slash work dash with dash me. And it would be fantastic to chat with you and to help you transform your business like Shannon's described. It's it gets, it gets me going. I get super excited about it. I love learning about how other people, people operate and making it easy for Shannon and for you. All right. Thanks very much.